This is the latest entry in the Saw franchise that started almost two decades ago. Now I loved the first Saw movie and I even found a few of the first sequels to be fun. They definitely weren't great but I liked them in a guilty pleasure sort of way. However, then they just kept putting out more and more of them and I stopped paying attention. In fact, I have no idea how many there even are and I'm pretty sure they did slow down eventually. Instead of putting out a movie a year, they actually took some time in between. But I was under the impression that the story was over because from what I understood Jigsaw was the last one. And I intentionally didn't look into this one before watching it because it actually looked very good on a first glance. I just loved the posters and the promo material and uh, the fact that Chris Rock stars in it had me intrigued as well. I just got the impression that this one was going to be a little bit different. A slightly more serious, higher quality production with maybe a few more resources behind it as well. And yeah, I was actually interested in sitting down to watch a Saw movie for the first time in over a decade. Now, to my surprise, as soon as the movie started, it just felt very cheap. I didn't like the look of it, I didn't like the direction, I didn't like the editing, I didn't like the acting. And that was literally my impression of the opening sequence alone. It was basically everything I should have expected from yet another Saw movie. One that doesn't try to do anything different. And you know, things didn't really get much better from there on either. Because we're then introduced to the main character, who of course is a cop. And the cliches just started pouring in one after another. I mean, it's more or less an avalanche of cliches. There's literally no originality in the storyline involving the cops here. It's all been done before many times. They basically just took those old ideas and threw some elements from Saw into the mix. And those elements I feel like have been beaten to death, resurrected, tortured and beaten to death again at this point. And I can't remember struggling this much to find redeeming qualities in a movie. Because I feel like just about everything about this movie was bad and worse than that, lazy. I mean if there's one thing I can't stand it's lazy and sloppy filmmaking. And it's why I'm generally not too harsh on a lot of low budget movies. Because I understand that they don't have the resources major studios do. But as long as they put in the effort and it comes across like they care, I'm gonna give them some slack. And I would have given this one the same courtesy because it's not a super expensive movie. But it just feels so lazy, so quickly thrown together that I can't really do that. And I mean the editing and the direction weren't good, uh, the performances weren't great either, and I wasn't even the biggest fan of the cinematography, but I could have forgiven all that if it weren't for the writing. I mean the writing here is atrocious, the characters are terrible, most of the dialogue is awful, and the story is so unbelievably dumb, I can't even put it into words. And then to top it all off, the movie just suddenly ends. It's maybe the most abrupt ending I've ever seen. It's like even the people making this didn't want to spend another second in the editing bay. Which, I mean, was actually a good thing because I had no interest in spending another second with it either. And that is one of the few positives I have to say about this. It's not long and the pacing wasn't terrible. Also, there are a few good lines of dialogue and I feel like Chris Rock might have had a hand in writing those. Because they always involved his character and they just stood out as being far better than 99% of it. But yeah, at the end of the day I really disliked this movie and I'm gonna give it a solid 2. I know I wouldn't recommend this, so you can probably skip this one. Or you can exercise your right to do whatever you feel like and watch it anyway because after all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel because that would be fantastic.